In this lesson, we are going to learn about dielectrics. Okay, so what is a dielectric? Dielectric is simply a insulator. Okay, it is a insulator which gets polarized due to application of external electric field. Okay, so just try to understand what's happening. If you have a dielectric okay and you are going to apply a external electric field like this then what's going to happen is this dielectric is going to develop negative charges over here okay and positive charges over here because of which a net internal field is created which opposes this external field okay because of this development of charges on your dielectric you have a internal electric field which is like this okay from positive to negative now this internal electric field opposes this external electric field okay and reduces the effect of this external electric field and this development of charges in a dielectric is known as polarization okay so a dielectric is basically defined as a insulator that polarizes when an external electric field is applied okay you must be knowing about a capacitor right a capacitor has two parallel conducting plates and the region between them is filled up with a dielectric okay now when you're going to charge this capacitor what's going to happen is you're going to have a electric field and since this is a insulator okay your dielectric is a insulator therefore your current cannot actually go like this okay it cannot pass through therefore this dielectric gets polarized okay so you have your charges which develops like this and as a result your charges are developed on the conducting plates okay positive over here negative over here okay so your dielectric helps you in storing the charge in a capacitor okay so on the basis of this property your dielectrics are characterized by what is known as a dielectric constant okay so dielectric constant of a dielectric is given by the capacitance of a capacitor which uses the given dielectric upon the capacitance of the same capacitor which uses vacuum okay so what you have to do is you take a capacitor okay put in your dielectric over here measure its capacitance okay this would be your c now take the same capacitor and this time you do not put in your dielectric rather have your region filled with vacuum okay or this region being unoccupied then again you calculate the capacitance of this capacitor okay now the ratio of c upon c0 is the dielectric constant for this particular dielectric okay your dielectric constant is represented by your letter epsilon okay epsilon r okay this is also known as relative permittivity okay so this is known as your relative permittivity of your dielectric okay at times also known as your static relative permittivity because this corresponds to frequency of zero that is your dc voltage okay just realize this is your relative permittivity your absolute permittivity 